Hi there, I hope you're doing fine. My name is Sam as always and thank you so much for coming to this video here. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the deck effect, the equalizers or the EQs and then the deck color effect to make clean transitions in Virtual DJ. Later I'll also give you a link to my mappers for this one here so you can try out everything for yourself. So I hope you will watch this video through not to miss out on anything. Of course if you're watching for the first time or you've been watching my videos and you've not subscribed please make sure you do that to get the most of my content and if you've been my subscriber for a long time i want to say hi to you i thank you for that and without wasting a lot of time let's see what we have all right so the first style that we're going to use here is the deck effect the most commonly used effect by most djs is the filter or the filter hp so what do we really do here? You have a song playing on deck A, you want to introduce a song in deck B. You will apply a filter effect here on deck A, and then you will select deck B, so you will be able to introduce this song while the other one is playing with the, e the effect on. You will later come back here and then maybe apply another effect, maybe a loop out or echo, to take out this other song here, and then later you will be able to load another song on this one. You can also spice it up a bit. Let's say after introducing the filter effect here on deck A and you want to introduce deck B, you will simply select the next deck here. So instead of just playing this song right away, you can do a simple scratch, maybe a scratch DNA or a simple baby scratch, and then you will drop this song while the other one is playing on deck A. So you'll later select deck A and then you'll either introduce another effect to take this one out you maybe introduce a loop out or an echo to stop to make sure you get rid of this song here so the only mapping i can show you for this one the mostly used one is the the, the select okay i use this select here to, for selecting decks so for the scratches and everything i always talked a lot about them in my other videos you can really check them out the next one we want to talk about is the eqs i'm using high mid and low this is what i'm using for now and of course what I can do here is there are two ways. The first one I can apply the EQ effect. I'm sorry to call them effects but I can tweak the EQs for the for a single deck. So what I do really here is a song is playing on deck A. I'm going to start a song on deck B. I simply select the deck B and then start a song. So I will select deck A and then start turning the EQs for deck A down slowly to leave space for this other deck B to play clearly. So I'll be able to stop deck A and then introduce another song. <laughs> The next thing you can also do is, let's say we have a song playing on deck A. The trick you need to have here is, you should have the EQs for deck A all at 50%. The high, the mid, and the low should be at 50%. And you will turn down everything for deck B just like this. So I have these mappings here, which will slowly bring up the EQs for deck B and then turn down slowly 
the EQs for deck A. It is the same button here. And these are the mappings here. So it turns down the EQs for deck A by negative one, and then increases the EQs for deck two by positive one. Okay, so you do that when the EQs for deck B reach at 50%, you stop there and then let deck B play clearly. Already by that time, you would have gotten rid of the song in deck A, and you can be able to stop it and load the next one there. So I'm going to show you the mapping once again. I have other buttons. This one I said does the trick. And then I need an assistant. This button here would later reset the EQs for both decks when I'm ready to, when I already have another song in deck A. I also have these other mappings that I'm going to give you all in the description down below, or I'm going to give you a Telegram channel where I'll be putting all these mappers here. So don't get scared of anything. style here is you can use the deck color effects it's very hard to see it on this layout here i'm using the performance layout of the default skin of virtual dj so i'm going to go to the to layout and then just change this so you can see i'm going to use maybe starter or let me use this one here so the color effects or the deck color effects are shown by this last button here so the most commonly used one is noise i commonly use noise so i make sure i activate it it should be able to show me green and then i select it so i have a button which is going to be turning this one to around 80 percent while pressed at the same time i also want to apply this uh, a filter hp for deck a which is a currently playing deck by the way along with this color effect here as i press both the filter hp and then this noise will be playing but then the trick here is it's deck a playing so i'm going to select deck b i'm going to make deck b the currently active deck according to my mappers so there's a button that is going to be applying this hp and then the noise on deck a which is the currently playing deck but then deck b is my active deck this is simply the button these are i mean this is simply the mapping all right, so deck one filter 80% while pressed and then the effect HP active while pressed. So what I really do is I press this button simultaneously and then if I'm ready, I play the song on deck B and then I will also have another button. The same button for playing deck B will go back to deck A and then select this filter, activate it so that I have the effect active, but of course the noise will not be playing right the noise will be off but this one will remain active to give me space to get rid out of the song and then the other one will be playing clearly so that is the button and it is here i am using this i'll play select and then the effect filter hp will be active i like i said i'm going to give you all these mappers in the telegram channel in the in the description of this video so that's what i really do and then to make it more tricky i just come to the performance layout where you can't see anything but you can hear it happening. So let's see how that happens. guys i hope this video is helpful for a more practical video i would advise you to join the membership program because that's where i explain everything in full detail but of course i hope this one here has, has added something to your tricks and if you like it please give me a thumbs up for this one here and if there's anything you want me to know you want to add something 
or you want to ask me a question please do it in the comment section down below but like i said before stay creative build your own styles because this were my own and then someone else out there might give you another style and this is all it takes if you've watched to this point and you've never subscribed please make sure you do that because i have content like this coming your way and i want to thank you for that if you do it i hope to see you when you open my other video peace out